Hey all here OS Reviews, a few months back there was an interesting gadget that came to my attention that was called the Drowse Buster E, and it was featured on Unbox Therapy. Essentially it's a device that tries to enhance your focus when you're driving, and if you're feeling drowsy, it gives you an electric shock. Well, the company is now back with their second product called the Drowse Buster P that is the focus of our review today, and it's a completely different product in the sense that it's actually a pair of headphones, but it still combines the specialty of this company, which is working with these electrical stimulants, integrates it into these everyday products. Still has a stimulant uh, contact uh, that is touching the tragus, which is a small fold inside of your ear, and will uh, give you a higher level of concentration, relieve stress, and the company also claims that it can even help you lose weight or be on a diet and reduce your uh, really hungry appetite if you continuously use it while working out, for example. So these are kind of interesting claims. Obviously, this is still not really a medical grade product, but it does have an interesting twist, which is an optional mode that you can flick on or off. The buds themselves also illuminate in an interesting color when you're wearing them, and it also has built-in storage up to four gigabytes, so you can even use them to play back music files directly. So again, in terms of their official ad here, they claim contacts on the buds corresponding acupoints of the tragus emits a weak electric pulse, which is designed according to the rhythm of the music. So you can see that they have a kind of map of the year here and uh, based on acupunctured points. They claim that the results do require a prolonged period of use, so they state around three months um, and you should ideally use it for about 30 minutes a day, uh, roughly two or three times a day. I think those claims should be taken with a grain of salt, but even as it is, as far as being just a pair of wireless headphones that has built-in storage um, and selling at a reasonable price of under 50 bucks, it still seems like a pretty interesting decent value. And inside here we have a pretty neat hard shell carrying case, but otherwise in terms of the accessories are located on the top pocket. It does take a slightly older micro USB cable to charge, but that's fine at this price. We get some spare silicon tips to get a more custom fit, and there's also a quick user guide slash manual that tells you what the various controls and the knobs correspond to. So if we take a closer look at the design of the Drowse Buster P, the body here is constructed out of a plastic as well as a rubber for the part that touches your neck when you're wearing it, and overall it's very lightweight. It's not too far off from something like a one more pair of wireless neckband headphones or something like the LG Tone. It may not be the flashiest design these days, but it's a perfectly fine in terms of wearing and comfort, just because most of the weight is supported by this band on this left-hand edge, and they correspond to a power on and off key that you can tap on for a few seconds, and then this little switch here is what activates the electrical uh, massage or impulse functionality. So you can flick it up, and then by default it will turn on for about five minutes uh, before turning off again, after which point you can use this a rotary dial to change the intensity of the impulse uh, that you are feeling. So you can rotate it uh, counterclockwise to actually turn it down and clockwise to turn the intensity higher so you'll feel more of a abrupt uh, massage or jolt um, as it uh, keeps in mind with the beats of the music, but you can also flick it off and just use it as regular headphones. The top here is what contains the port for charging. Now, by the way, these do not support any IP rating, so they're not going to be waterproof, although they should be sweatproof if you're doing things like exercising and sports and whatnot. Um, this little dial here can also be pressed inwards if you are using it to play and pause your music, and when you're not using it in the massage mode, the dial can be still spun to change the volume, either higher or lower, and that's it, a pretty simple design. The buds themselves don't retract inside of the neckband, but overall they are magnetic so they can attach to each other like this, uh, kind of like a necklace when you're uh, not listening to music to prevent them from getting lost. These are still being made out of plastic, and when you remove them, um, we can see that there is a LED light ring along the edges which glows and flashes to the beat of the music, which is pretty cool. However, this particular visualization only turns on when you're using the massage mode. When it's turned on, how the magic is happening is basically by these two little contact points. You can see uh, what looks like it's etched in gold, and that is the apparent uh, acupuncture point in the human body which is related to uh, stress relief in addition to relief of hunger um, and so according to that particular research that's where they positioned it. So moving into the kind of performance of these I think we can judge this based on 
uh, two different factors, um, the first being the audio quality, the second being the effectiveness of the actual electrical impulse. Uh, so starting with the audio quality alone, I would say that they sound better than I was expecting for the really budget price, and I thought this would be more of a novelty item with the focus being more on this impulse massage function rather than the audio, but again, it's not shabby, uh, thanks to the fact that they are using a pretty up-to-date Bluetooth 5.0 chip, so there is very low latency when you're listening to the music, and the music quality itself is surprisingly clean. It's fairly crisp, uh, so you can pause the music, you can turn the volume down, and there's really no hints of any static, hiss, or humming in the background. Although I wouldn't say they're necessarily bass heavy, uh, but they definitely have a nice kick if you turn to EDM type of music, and mids in particular is where the frequency is most prominent when you're listening to tracks, um, and overall presents a pretty comfortable listening experience. As far as the impulse functionality is concerned, uh, when you wear them and turn the function on, you definitely feel it um, as it kicks in. Thankfully, it's not a painful process, it's not like I would say a traditional electric shock, but it's just a very gentle jab almost. Other regions of your body which are less sensitive, things like your thumbs, your hands, if you kind of touch the same contact regions as it's uh, turned on, you don't even feel anything. As far as the effect, uh, what I will say is because the sensation is so close to your head, uh, your ears, when you're listening to them, it does help you, I guess, slightly focus into the music just because you are focused more into that region of your head where the sound is coming from and allows you to focus a little more easily on the music that is being played. Um, but it's in a very unusual sense. Um, definitely not like active noise cancellation. I would say still ANC is probably more comfortable for most folks, uh, but it's still something interesting, I guess, to try out. They did, in fact, build this feature in, and it is, again, for all purposes that I can say, something that does function in terms of the hardware. Uh, but whether it's really an enjoyable process, I would have personally maybe said uh, something closer to a vibration motor that kind of buzzes like a subwoofer or again like a vibration motor on a phone, a haptic engine, um, to give you another dimension as you're listening to say a bass drop could have been a bit more fun and perhaps uh, more accepted by the general public uh, versus this which is something that's a little bit more like a buzz as you're listening to it, kind of like a poke. Um, again not painful but a little bit funny and um, definitely something that will take some time I think to get fully used to. So if you are curious and want to learn more details you can check them out in the links down below but for now that's been our video. This has been our hands-on review of the Drowse Buster P, a company which focuses on acupuncture-based electrical impulse gadgets, and this is their first wearable pair of headphones.